and I was saying, my God, why was the house so dark? So I then proceeded to get out of the car and I went in to the back of the house. And just as I turned to face the back door, I saw there was about three guys waiting at the door and they had said, shut up, I will shoot you. I just froze. You see this in films or movies, but you don't really expect it to come to your back door. So they just caught me and brought me into the back door and I saw James. And he looked at me and I looked at him and I said, what's happening here? So I just kind of pushed her in the door. She had her two hands out and she nearly fell. You know, and she looked at me then, you know, and I looked at her and I said, do, do exactly as these men tell you to do. I'll, uh, I'll never forget to look on her face, actually. Then they said, OK, I'm going to bound and gag you and time just seemed to stop I just felt pain over and over again you were constantly being told I'm going to kill you I actually thought that if I did one wrong move it was curtains so eventually anyway, one of the guys came out to me and said you know we went to cash from the garage so then I knew that this was a big job that they were that was after the cash from the garage they were where's the money we're keeping your wife here with two men in any funny business. We will shoot her. And he said, do you understand? And I said, I do. And I firmly believed that particular guy, whoever he is, would kill. And they just took him away. We just didn't know what was going to happen. Out we went. We waited in terrified silence, hoping the gang wouldn't follow through on threats to kill them both. And then, so I kept roaring and shouting. And I said, James, please answer me. I was convinced that there was one of the gang members still outside the house monitoring what was going on. My big fear was that if he thought I was trying to get free, you know, raise the alarm in any way, that he would have come in and actually killed both of us. I couldn't, while I could hear her, I couldn't get to her. You know? Now, the jeep was abandoned a few miles away. They had their getaway car well out of the way, hidden so that um, they made a clean getaway. Yeah, this is, I think I am. It's just